to New South Wales and Queensland, Australia. If you're new here, my name is Joelle Gloria. I work remotely in crypto and I love making travel guides for everyone. So if you're interested in following me, make sure to click the subscribe button below. In Australia, I'm traveling via van with my boyfriend and thanks to Dometic's portable gas stove and oven, we've been cooking loads on the road. If you're a meat lover, lamb is a must when you're in Australia. It's so incredibly cheap compared to the US because it's far a lot more often here. It's been seriously a beach galore on this journey, which has been great for Angus because he surfs. But one really cool thing that we did along the coast is we took a ferry at Port Macquarie, I'm probably pronouncing that wrong, and then we drove to Limburners Creek National Park. It was stunning views, we saw kangaroos along the way, and also some cows. After Lim Burners Creek National Park, we pulled up to Crescent Head, which had a stunning sunset waiting for us. So we actually stayed here overnight. If you're watching this video, you've made it to one minute and 30 seconds. I'd appreciate it if you could pause real quick and hit the like button below. It really helps my channel, which I just started. I work in crypto, I'm a remote worker, and so I'm able to travel and create these amazing guides for you. I also invested in new gear to make the content much more crisp, and I'm hoping in the future to cover a bit more of crypto content, what it's like actually working in the space, and also some fashion content. So prior to working in crypto, I worked at Louis Vuitton headquarters in New York, but now I'm living this amazing remote lifestyle and I wanna share it with all of you. So hit subscribe if you're interested in any of that. Thanks so much, and. Let's continue watching the video. Australia has iconic sculptures like the Big Prawn in West Bellina, and it's definitely a must see on your way to Byron Bay. If you wanna check out our Byron Bay travel guide, make sure to watch that video. We're gonna skip over that because it actually ended up being an eight minute segment. from Hastings Point, which is a beautiful like surf spot and beach. It's so gorgeous out. I've just finished up work and Angus is surfing. I'm gonna try to get some content of him. I'm terrible at getting content for him, which sucks because he surfs like almost every day. Usually he's either like too far away or there's like no real good spot for me to sit. I don't have like a super amazing camera. I'm not either using my iPhone or I'm using my vlogging camera. It doesn't have a really good like zoom in functionality. So anyways, but it's so gorgeous out. Hope you enjoy the content here. at Paper Daisy and Halicon House. They had some decent cocktails, though they were a little pricey, so this may be a miss for you. <laughs> Nearby Halicon House is Nori's Beach, and we actually spent a few nights here because of how beautiful the sunsets were and how good the surf was. Tranquilidad El día se me no 
Just a short minute right away, we stopped by this cafe called Tucker's before heading to Queensland. And wow, the coffee was so good, but I think even better yet was the great service and nothing beats that. I think what's really interesting about transitioning from New South Wales to Queensland is that it's actually quite seamless. There's no border. So just all of a sudden you'll start seeing skyscrapers from the Gold Coast. And actually the Gold Coast is known for its surf, Skyland and its nightlife. We checked out D-Bar, which had so many cars parked here, and it's probably reasonable because great surfers like Mick Fanning were out there. I could tell you, I don't think you'd believe how long I felt this way. I'm begging you to stay. And if I could show you, I'd hope that you could see. Angus and I felt like we had to see the Barbie movie and to make the experience even better is we chose a cinema at Hoda. It's a tad pricey, but it's definitely a unique experience. Not only do they have a cinema, but they also have a museum. Away from here. I didn't get any footage, but we visited Pacific Fair, which is a massive mall with luxury shops, a miss typical Australian brand. And you're going all the way this year. Mm -hmm. If I could tell you, I don't think you believe how long I felt this way. Checked out Marketo, which is a popular market here in the Gold Coast. We had some great drinks. The food was okay and also a little pricey, so I'm not sure it was actually worth the visit. There could be a place for you and me. I feel a hundred degrees when you call my name. And I don't know what you see. At a quirky casino, we found Maza Maza. Getting here is a bit strange, but the food is so good. Plus, they have amazing deals during the week. We got there on a pizza night, so I think we paid about 40 bucks for two pizzas. They also carried Burley Big Heads, which has become my top beer. It's, I think, 88 calories. It compares to a Corona, but it's even more tasty. Thanks for watching my New South Wales and Queensland vlog. I hope you were able to get some good recs out of this video. If you enjoyed the content, hit that like button as it really helps my channel grow. Thanks again. If I could show you